Hey, I'm R. Stevens, author of Adventures in Legoland, Government Indicted Also, is the new book. Website, of course, is markstevens.net. The radio show, the No State Project, live every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time, 1 to 4 on the West Coast. And, uh, of course, it is the Liberty Radio Network, lrn.fm. And uh, we've got another call of shame. So um, I mentioned this on the last show a few days ago. And uh, it, 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 the first, these are actually two of them. So we've, we've got a, a bonus here. We've got two. And uh, it, it's, it's, the first one is a lot of the same stuff that we had in this one where uh, the, 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 this professional uh, thief, uh, and that's what tax agents are, they're thieves, kill, you know, liars, thieves. They, um, all they have to use beyond their threats and say so is circular logic. The laws apply because the laws Say so. So it's an issue of magic. And uh, then the next one just happened today, June 10th, 2014, and it was a call to the IRS. And again, I've mentioned before, I'm doing my best to get these posted uh, much faster and get a lot more posted uh, by eliminating a lot of the call that isn't necessary so I don't have to you know, keep bleeping out personal information, which just takes an extreme amount of time uh, to go through and make sure all that's done. Uh, so the second call... Not very long either. It's even shorter than the first one, uh, but uh, it's good. It's good. If you want an example of of the uh, uh, to show that uh, government is just men and women and very substandard men and women at that, they uh, they are lacking in empathy. They lack in in, in uh, not necessarily intelligence. A lot of them are very smart, but they they are not very uh, in honest people. They have no integrity. And uh, they, they, they will lie and lie and lie. They will, uh, and I'll tell you, if this call was done, if we had done this call uh, live in their, in their uh, office, they probably would have called security and, have, and thrown us a, a good ass whipping uh, for good measure just to make sure that we understood that they are the IRS, they are the, they are the government, they are God, and we are the little people. We just do as we're told. We don't ask questions. We just pay. Uh, so what happens here, she admits, this is what I want to see, I want to see one honest criticism about this, uh, or any criticism, and you can call into the No Stay Project live every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time, hell, you can even Skype me at Frank Rizzo 3, I'm very accessible, uh, especially if you've got evidence. Um, I asked her only three questions. The first two questions had to do with whether she can confirm there was evidence. I asked her point blank, can she confirm that there's evidence the Constitution and code apply? Now, what? I don't know how somebody could criticize a question like that. And this, is, this shows you the, 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 just, just the, the sick mindset of a statist who believes in authority and that there are governments and that the government is a legitimate organization, not just a gang of kill thieves and liars. They will, I, that, that someone like myself just asking for fa- look, where is your proof? Do you have proof that the Constitution and the laws apply to me uh, that I will be attacked for just asking the question, and then when you hear the response from this IRS agent, that she's the one, she's the professional, I'm the one bothering her. It's it just, again, it's a testament to the, to the perversion that is statism and the belief in authority. It's sick. It's perverse. That's perverse. So um, I hope you enjoy the call. If you know anybody who's still on the fence and thinks that tax agents and government agents in general are good, honest people just trying to do a, a good, honest job, uh, let them lead, listen to these calls. Let them go to the call of shame and hear it right from the politicians themselves. And uh, if they still doubt, have them call the No Stay Project and present their evidence. Actually Prove it. If your constitutional laws are so sacred, if it's so obvious that they apply to everybody, show me the facts. Again, I'm Mark Stevens, and you can show us your facts here at markstevens.net. And you're being nice about it, but you've, you've just eaten up 10 minutes of my day, and I've accomplished nothing. And, and um, what I'm saying is you have an employee who has no evidence that your Constitution and laws apply. It's not the constitutionality. I'm not arguing. I'm not debating. What I'm saying to you is your employee doesn't have any evidence that applies. So what I'll ask you is do you have any evidence, any facts, and witnesses with personal first-hand knowledge that your laws apply to Dan just because he's physically in Maine. Well, 
all I can tell you is that he appears to be a resident of Maine, and he works in Maine, and um, therefore he's subject to the requirement to file under Title 36. Okay, my question is, what evidence do you rely on to show that your laws apply to him because he's physically in Maine? Um, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I understand the question. Okay, so you can't answer. It's a, you believe that. The, let me finish. You believe, just like Phil, and he said definitely. And I know this is how you guys operate. If someone is physically in Maine, then the laws of Maine apply to them, right? Uh, not not only in that case. If they have income derived from the state of okay. Maine. Okay. Uh, Okay, so you believe that just because he's physically in Maine that the laws apply. Because I could be driving through Maine and not earning any money whatsoever, and you guys still think that I'm subject to your laws. My question is, because that's your argument, okay? That's your legal position. It's your legal argument. I want to know if you have any facts and witnesses with personal first-hand knowledge to actually prove that just because Dan is physically in Maine, the laws apply to him. I, I, be, I believe that they do because they say they do. Okay, lo, let me write that down. I believe they do. Because they, because they say they do, exactly. Okay. They I mean, you've got... They say they do. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm referring, what, what, to, <clears throat> the, referring to, the, um, to the actual yeah, laws I, itself. I mean, they apply to somebody, and if you can, you can read them. I can read them with you. No, 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 no. And that's I'm not. Sure you, I'm sure you don't want to, but <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to. But, See, because this is this is a problem that we we encounter. It, aside from the fact that, and I'm not even going to do this. I'm not going to put you on the spot and say cite that for me because no such citation actually exists. It's you, you believe that they do because they say they do. That's not an answer to the question. That's not evidence. That's circular reasoning. That's circular logic. So well, I'm sorry. That's that's all. That's all I have. Okay. Well, well no, that's okay. No, don't. Uh, sorry. Let me write it down. Sorry. I mean, if if you, but but if you, but if you do want to. Okay. So what is the call concerning? Uh, initially, for 2012, he received a, a form letter from your computer system that mm -hmm. uh, where the, there's an argument on there that he is uh, that they they believe you guys believe that he's required to file a tax return. So uh, another number of questions that I have: uh, Are you able to confirm that there's any evidence proving jurisdiction over Dan? That he has a requirement to file for 2012? No, what am I? We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, my question is: Can you confirm that there's any that you and the IRS have any actual jurisdiction over Dan to even send him a form letter? If there's a requirement to, yes. So is that confirm? Are you saying is that an answer? Is that yes? You can confirm there's yes. evidence of jurisdiction. Okay. So, uh, so can you confirm that there's evidence proving the Constitution and code apply to Dan? Yes, if oh, there okay. is a need to, oh, wait, yes. Wait, wait, yes. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Let me write that down. Can confirm. Okay, so what facts do you rely on then to pro prove that the Constitution applies okay, to Dan? Okay, sir, I'm not going to go into that. You wait, just, you, you, wait, you just, hold on a moment now. You just, I, I wait, wait, wait no, hold on, hold a second, hold a second. Sir, you, I've... You just confirmed that there's evidence proving jurisdiction over him. Now I just want to know what evidence that actually, you know, you pr you just said that you can confirm that there's evidence proving. You sons of bitch. 